Well, it is officially here. County fair season. I love this as traditionally happens in our part of the state. The big Butler Fair gets things rolling with the other counties then follow in August and new this morning. John Shumway found out in a visit to the fairgrounds. It's a lot more than funnel cakes and blue ribbons, but, <laughs> but you know we what? Love those too. We love funnel cakes. Uh, oh, <laughs> absolutely. No, no, no blue doubt. Ribbons, but I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm not dissing funnel cakes. OK, no, 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 no. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's <laughs> sakes, you know, the, the fair really is about a lot more. It's about family. It's about traditions and a little bit of friendly competition. For generations, the Big Butler Fair has marked a midsummer gathering, only missing once during the Civil War and then two years ago during the pandemic. This is the 166th Big Butler Fair and families have been coming here as their tradition for years. You know, there's folks that we see here every year that we may not see the rest of the year. This is the venue that we all kind of come to and look forward to. The Big Butler Fair is known for its midway thrills, its traditional fair food, and the animals. But only the exotic animals of the petting zoo had arrived yesterday. The prize possession animals are arriving in their respective barns today. Most people that exhibit livestock, they camp here the whole nine days. A 4-H veteran, now 20 years old, Fair Queen Brill Carnes says there is so much pride in the barns as the kids bond with their animals. But as you slowly work with them and work with them, they're your best friend. And this big 1,400-pound fluffy thing, you're walking it around and people are like, how are you doing that? <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> and the kids are never far from the barn. Most of the time, we're here every day two or three times in the barn washing and working and getting them ready. <laughs> yeah, and it's absolutely not surprising to walk into those barns and see one of the kids napping in the stall with their animal. Now, a walk through the barns is an absolute must. You're going to see some amazing sights. They have got rabbits that are this big, and I am not exaggerating. They may actually be bigger than that. And beyond the animals, there's so much more, a whole lot of cooking competition. You talk about pies and cakes. It's Americana at its finest. I'm sold. Pies and cakes. Although, say, what are they feeding the rabbits to get I them know. big? <laughs> I mean, it's a, a special breed of rabbit, David, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Those that, things are huge. All right, you got to check that out in person. But what if you're not into that, the yeah. agriculture attractions? Oh, there's so much more. There, of course, are free concerts. There are shows each night. The midway, the food that we've already talked about. We'll get more into that coming up. And at admission price that's designed to keep it affordable for the family. Sounds like great family fun there, John. It absolutely is. Fantastic. Thank you.